Hey everyone, it's David from Edge Impulse, and I'm out on the front porch because it's an exciting day. Something new just showed up. Let's take a look. All right, I know what you're thinking right away. FedEx is not in the Edge AI business that I'm aware of, but we're going to find out what's in there. Okay, as I suspected, it does not appear that FedEx is getting into the Edge AI hardware business. This is from NVIDIA, which means it could be the Jetson or in Nano Super. Let's find out. Sure enough, we've got a Jetson Orin Nano Developer Kit here. These are actually really, really cool. If you're not familiar with them, you've got the 1024 core NVIDIA Ampere architecture GPU with 32 tensor cores. This is the 8 gig version. That's pretty cool. They do also come in 4 gig units as well. Six ARM Cortex A78 AE cores. And we'll go over the ports in just a few minutes as well once I get it opened up. But uh, you can see what they've done here is taped this to the back of the unit. Production shipping units will, of course, not come with the SD card taped to the back like this. But they've done me a big favor here and included an SD card so I don't have to go download a new version of Jetpack. This one here is a 256 gig card. That'll be plenty of space for Edge Impulse getting onto this thing. Looking at the branding on the box, we see Jetson Orin Nano, but we don't see the word super anywhere on it. So let's take a look at NVIDIA's blog today. And we see NVIDIA unveils its most affordable Gen AI supercomputer. And they've got a blog post with an embedded YouTube video, which is pretty funny, so you might want to check that out. And they've got their dedicated landing page up now for the Jetson Orin Nano Super. And we see here key performance. AI is now rated at 67 tops, and that's up from 40 tops on the previous kit. Memory bandwidth is 102 gigabytes per second, and that's up from 68 gigabytes per second. And the CPU frequency is now clocked at 1.7 gigahertz. To open it up, we just pull this tape off the top here, and one on the bottom as well. Oh, now I did the top one again. Get that out of there. And we've got the two flaps that open up. That's really cool presentation. Here's the board. Let's start with that. Get that out of there. Set it down and we'll go over the ports. For those of you familiar with the original Jetson Nano series, these are pretty similar, except for, of course, the more powerful Orin CPU and GPU SOC that's on the on the SOM here. But um, as far as ports are concerned, you have USB-C for firmware uploading as well as serial connectivity. You've got Ethernet, you have four USB 3.2 ports. You have DisplayPort over here. They've dropped HDMI, it looks like, which is fine. And of course, the power barrel jack there. You have two camera inputs here, Cam 1, Cam 2, well, Cam 0, Cam 1, actually. You've got the 40 pin. GPIO headers over here, compatible with Raspberry Pi ecosystem. And the SD card slot is a little bit hard to see typically, but it's right under here on the SOM module. Bottom side has a pair of unpopulated PCIe M.2 slots, as well as a Wi-Fi M.2 already seated in there. Left-hand side of the box, we've got some getting started guide here. It goes over how to get everything connected and get access to downloads and help files and tutorials. And a power supply with the corresponding EU as well as US standard plugs. Perhaps the most important part of this kit, though, is this SD card that they've included. This is what's going to allow us to upgrade this regular Orin Nano developer kit to the Orin Nano Super. What they've done with this latest version of software is increase the CPU clock as well as the memory clock, memory timing, in order to gain even more performance out of this board. 
So that's going to do it here. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing video to see what we've got as far as the Jetson Orin Nano Super is concerned. In the coming days, we'll get Edge Impulse CLI installed on this, check for any upgrades or any updated packages that NVIDIA shipped, and get some models running on this thing. Thanks. See you soon.